What's up everyone? Welcome to Ola's FAQ number 64 and I'm in beautiful sunny Spain except that it's raining like a lot Spain come on what's up with that? but this is supposed to be Costa del Sol now it's Costa del Reino yeah yeah so I'm here basically uh, vacation with my family it was about time I've been working really really hard lately and uh, I thought we needed some vacation but obviously because I'm such a dork I still have to make my videos and my FAQs for you so here I am being all positive in the rain so yeah first question over here I guess because that's where my computer is void caller you've been sounding so negative and sad lately <laughs> what? I, are you watching my my videos or are you uh, yeah uh, I, yeah this does this look like a sad face to you hola how expensive is beer in Sweden I want to move there but I have worries that beer is too expensive it's really expensive man I'm staying home in Slovakia I, don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love how the uh, the price of beer is the priority number one for this guy video jukebox <laughs> for uh, not moving to Sweden good on you buddy I, I support what you do hello Ola come on I have an idea you can make a section where we send you a preset of some VST then you try and give your opinion it would be funny great idea do that for the next FAQ send me a preset of uh, something I have okay and uh, I'll try it out and maybe uh, I can rate it for you man Ola never shoots my question unsub now Aww. Don Urbano Binas Bas number three. I'm sorry. I just can't answer every question out there. You know, I have my theory why I haven't answered your question. It's probably because uh, maybe it sucked. I don't know. Positive Ola 2.0. Any love for cattle decapitation? If no, check them out. You will be impressed 100%. So I do know, of course, about cattle decapitation because I tour with them for a brief moment when I was in six feet under and then uh, there was uh, a riot <laughs> no uh, I think it was a there was a dispute between the singer and Chris Barnes I was not in the room I have no idea what the hell happened I just heard two stories and I was like well, what the hell anyway they dropped off the tour it was a big drama on the internet and the uh, internet was happy but Cal Decapitation as a band amazing band love the music love their stuff they're excellent okay Hey Ola, how did you and Keith Miro? <laughs> Miro, what the? <laughs> Why did I say that? Hey Ola, how did you and Keith Miro meet? I think that the first time I actually met him in person was at the first NAM I was participating on, which was 2012. And we actually shared a room together. It was uh, me, I think it was Alan Marcus, Keith, and uh, Jim from Strictly Seven so it was a good first meet we got to spend the night together it was amazing experience Josep Oreborda subtitles in Spanish please seven hours ago you don't need subtitles in Spanish on my videos because me habla español muy uh, perfecto en el culo okay no need for uh, subtitles hola England es español uh, manos y menos great can you do a video why Cold Chamber are the best band ever? I will not because they are not the best band ever the first time I heard of Cold Chamber was when I uh, went to a Machine Head concert and uh, Skin Lab, Machine Head, Napalm Death and Cold Chamber played I did not like what I heard and saw on that live show then I listened to it on the album and it's actually a really good album it's just a little bit too uh, new metal for me but uh, what's the song? Loco huh? it's a good song yo Ola favorite thing to do on tour on a day off I think that when you do have a day off you just want to you know do nothing basically you want to rest but uh, if you're in a good spot or a historic spot I like to go visit shit and you know do some sightseeing and uh, you know just might as well when you're in a country uh, that you've never been to but sometimes you, don't, you just don't get enough time to do stuff like that so Ola can you upload a video to get that sound on the bass it's killer 
it's pretty easy, uh, I think you're referring to the bass sound I had in my latest FAQ video it's basically the bass into a guitar amp plugin and I think I was using the Fortin plugin in the latest FAQ so that's how you do it I think that in, for bass the main, main absolute tone is the bass itself and uh, all the electronics in the bass and pickups and all that that's what makes a really awesome bass sound not necessarily what you use afterwards I mean you can plug a really good bass into whatever distortion and it will sound super awesome Kola Vavarik Hey Ola, I've been subscribed for a while but only recently started watching on a day-to-day -day basis I was wondering if you see value in learning songs by other musicians and bands as a means of improving your playing or if you think exercises and writing are more of value to you now Love the vids, hoping to pick up a solar in the near future I hope so too buddy, pick up a solar uh, very soon please so I can uh, take more vacations <laughs> I talk about this a lot, obviously I'm a big advocate for just playing your favorite songs just to get yourself to practice guitar and you know, just learn new things, learn new techniques like how does a totally different guitar player nail this type of lick and just try and learn as much as possible I think that's... are you still filming you asshole? yes you are, great, I love you Lumix, you're a good camera <laughs> unlike this little piece of shit right here, I hate you Sony Panasonic Lumix, I love you, still filming, no bullshit, it's just like, it works uh, what was I talking about? I don't remember uh, what would happen if you go bald? <sighs> that's the uh, ending of my career right there love you Ola, but the pick slanting explanation was not accurate keep the good work someone probably commented before but pick slanting is not in which direction you're moving but the number of notes per string it is used to escape the string with blah, 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 Troy Grady okay so I, I try to explain pick slanting in my latest FAQ and obviously a lot of people reacted and said no Ola that's not what it is and okay I'm fine with that I'm only human I have no f***ing idea what I'm talking about <laughs> yes just take everything I say with uh, a little moderation a little bit of grain of salt that's how you say it if I say something just don't pay attention just don't value my opinion it's fine so a good disclaimer now is just don't listen to what I say it might just be wrong anyway so there you go good Love you channel Lola, been a follower since FAQ 13 or 15, can't remember, it doesn't matter really and I have to say your YouTube channel is my favorite guitar my question is, since you're a business now, how big of a market share do you think smaller guitar brands get and what do you think about people that guitar is dying, which I think is such bullshit just look at all these awesome YouTubers and people playing guitar I have further questions, I have no further okay, wish you all the best awesome, thank you so much Marco um, first question, I mean the guitar market is not dying, first of all the, uh, the whole guitar market out there is very very big it's a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of millions a year I mean if the small companies can just go in and grab some of that it's still a lot of money so that's what I'm trying to do I just want to earn all the money in the world uh, I def I'm definitely not doing it because I just love guitars and I got a chance to design my own guitar it's just because of the money 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 <laughs> yeah people claiming that guitar is dead it's not dead just goes in waves you assholes that's how it is this this couch <laughs> it's not it's not really helping me out for this FAQ I'm trying my best here Ola I see your videos and you get mad a lot of the commenters and it makes me sad please be nice to me love your channel Roger Palacios thank you Roger uh, I'm not mad I think there's a percentage of the people on my channel that actually understand that I'm being sarcastic I'm making jokes all the time, right? This is who I am Alright, serious all up I just need to fix this couch because this is... <coughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting closer here because this is a very important message for you guys but, okay, so obviously I bring up a lot of bad comments and, uh, you know sometimes it seems like I'm only getting bad comments but it, I'm definitely not getting only bad comments, the bad comments are the very very few and I must say the comments that I receive like 98% are all positive and I just want to say thank you so much you guys are the absolute best you know I don't want to put you out there on the FAQs too much because I know I don't want to be in your face with all the you know, positivities but in general 98% of all the comments out there are just people being positive people being happy that I upload videos I really really appreciate 
that you reach out to me and say all these nice things about me. It definitely helps me to continue to push through, make me continue on the level that I am and that, that's what makes me go through the day. You know, so even though it seems like I'm very negative on the channel, you know, I'm not a neg negative guy. I guess you guys probably understand that. You know, this is part of the entertainment that you're getting. You know, I'm just pulling some people's legs and, you know, I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun. And hopefully you understand my sarcasm. And uh, like I said before, when I was over here, uh, don't uh, take anything I say for granted or just don't listen to me, <laughs> I guess. But guys, I just want to say thank you. You guys are the f best. I, I don't say it enough, but I think because I do watch the other channels, I think I have the best followers on my channel you guys get it okay if you have an eight to five job and you want to get in shape you have three choices get up 5 a.m to knock it out before work knock it out do you mean <laughs> yeah quickly knock it off oh my kid is in there playing i don't think this is a safe for work movement in front of my kids but uh, let's just pull the curtain or something okay oh uh, what, what, what am i doing <laughs> work out immediately after work and dinner or work out at 7 p.m Notice that all three choices will result in way less television, which sucks anyway. Well, I don't watch television, so easy as that. I have a TV, I play some video games from now and then, but I will definitely work out before I go to work. I'll go up at 5 a.m. just to work out, no problem. Uh, I just don't work out. It's just how it is right now. Dear Sola, is it necessary that all citizens of Sweden serve in the military? If so, did you serve and in what capacity? Well, when I was 18, I had to go through an, an, uh, an enrollment thing that everyone had to do back in the day it's called monstering and it's uh, basically you do tests and then they decide which division you will be in or if you're not qualified or if you whatever so uh, everyone back in the day when I was a kid had to go through this I don't think it's the deal right now uh, but uh, I did I went and did the tests I obviously I scored very high high on my tests because you know it's all England the smart guy uh, not really. I'm in the reserve right now. So no, I never had training, but if there's a war coming, I guess I'll have to train for uh, one day. It's easy. I'll probably just look it up on YouTube. Train to be, uh, train to kill. It's probably a YouTube video or a YouTube tutorial somewhere. Riff of the day. <laughs> so, a riff of the day. Uh, I don't know what to riff. Yes, I have a really good Swedish riff of the day. This is Damn Deal Done by Entombed. Uh, one of my favorite Swedish bands, Entombed. Mwah, love them. And this is from, this, uh, from the album Wolverine Blues. And uh, it goes like this. I hope you can hear this. That's a really groovy ass riff. Go check it out. Go check out that song. It's a killer song and I love the production on that album so raw and I hope you could hear that because it's raining like a mother here in Costa del Sol oh oh so sunny here in Costa del Sol Spain good job Spain huh yeah oh riff of the day positive ola do you still own any of your strictly seven guitars on Ibanez 8 string can you take us to your basement storage that you mentioned before in one video thanks for all the knowledge that you have been sharing uh, Obviously, I'm not at home, so I cannot uh, show you my basement, but I do have my Strictly 7 guitars uh, still. My Ibanez 8 string, no, that was a shitty ass guitar. So, no, I sold it as quickly as I could. But I still have my Strictly 7 guitars. So I have my 7 strings and an 8 string Strictly 7. I can show it to you. A little jump back into the past, uh, maybe one day. Uh, Hey Ola, next FAQ, Swedish word of the day. My room had his girlfriend over and they were discussing a Swedish word. It sounded like Spanga. What is it? Do you think it is? Turns out I got my Swedish word of the day after all. <laughs> uh, Spanga. <laughs> Swedish word of the day. Spanga. I have no f***ing idea what that is. Rob King, I've been following your channel since the beginning and watched you evolve. And now my wife watches it with me all the time. Keep doing what you do, Ola. There it is. Okay, there it is. One of those awesome positive comments. Thank you so much, Rob King. I love you. Hey, Ola, I just want to say how proud I am to see a hardworking musician making great content, successful managing girl. 
see okay i'm sharing some of these positive comments here this is what it looks like i do get shit ton of good comments here okay so they're not all bad you should check out your fellow Swedes. Hypocrisy. I recommend Tales of Thy Spineless from their recent material. Thomas used a solo guitar for the whole tour, by the way. Cheers. Thank you. I'm well aware of Hypocrisy because it's one of those bands that I listened a lot to when I was a kid. And I was the one that brought Thomas the uh, Solar at the Gates. And now he's a solar artist. Thank you for bringing it up so I can make a little bit of uh, marketing for, uh, for myself. Hypocrisy. An amazing, awesome Swedish death metal band that now plays Solar. Huh? <laughs> Elephant. <gasps> hola, hola. There's a new Swedish girl at my office. What can I say to her in Swedish to convince her to date me? There is one really good thing that you can say. It's... Jag vill mata din häst. It's basically like I want to... It's basically like... Uh, and I, 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 it's basically like, uh, basically like, uh, hi, how are you doing? But in a very romantic way. So there you go. Mata Heston. I want to do it to you. Mata Heston. Okay. Good. Hola. I just finished your video of the dime by plug and I loved it. And that snake skin Dean is seriously sexy. Can you possibly show off some of those wicked dime walls you have and maybe tell us how you got them? Okay, so I've done this before. I have right now in my possession two Washburn Dime guitars. I have uh, three, look at my tongue right there trying to say three. Three ST, which is a US built, uh, built in the 2000, something like that. I bought it used from eBay and it was in rough shape. I sent it to Chewy at the Washburn Custom Shop and he refinished the guitar. So now it's an excellent, what the hell? It's not a burp, it's just a, some kind of hiccup. So it's an ex in excellent condition right now. And uh, it's a lovely guitar, I love that guitar. I actually had two US Custom Shop guitars back like around, actually around 2000, 2001. But then I sold them because it was Ola being stupid. I sold them for stupid, like yeah, I sold them. I don't know why, probably hormones or something like that, I don't know. Then I always regretted selling my black uh, 3ST. So uh, I bought it, refinished it, and now it's in my possession, and I love it. And then I have a Dime ST Pro, which is uh, like a high, like a top feature import guitar, which is an excellent guitar. It's the red one. I'll see if I found a picture somewhere. The Dean I had for the Dimebag video, I borrowed it from a cool friend called Matthias Strand. Thank you so much, buddy. There you go. Oilid, what do you think of the European new law concerning the internet's article 13? Okay, so this has been going on for a while and I haven't really been updated on exactly what this article number 13 uh, means. But uh, I talked to my YouTube representative and basically what's happening right now is that in Europe they want to basically kill the meme culture where you basically just take a picture and just share it with a bunch of text without copyright or anything like that. You, people just share and share and share. So what they're trying to do is to, they're trying to kill that culture. And this is fine. I think copyright is very important. But the way EU will implement it is that they will put the responsibility with the provider. For YouTubers, this means the responsibility shifts from the user to the actual provider or the company, which in this case is YouTube. What that means is that YouTube has to control and make sure that the users will not upload copyright infringement material, which is insane because on YouTube, people are uploading all the time. And you know, so many users, it's basically impossible to kind of like keep a control of, of this. And uh, I mean, they already have their uh, their own uh, algorithms that that find songs so it's already working in some sense an absolute worst case scenario youtube would have to shut off all european content creators because they just cannot handle this type of law which means my channel will be shut down which sucks the article itself and the uh, intentions they're good i support them it's just a way that they're doing this and trying to implement it and uh, just make the providers guilty for all of this. 
that's what I'm th that's the problem in this and that's what YouTube is kind of concerned about and I'm also concerned about about that because it's if it goes through it will affect my channel for sure I, I don't know what, exactly what you do what we can do is we can raise our own voices about this and you know let your representative your country let them know that this is shit this is a shit format they should just reform everything and just try it in a different way so there you go we'll just see what happens hopefully it will not go through but the first kind of the first step has already been passed through so now it's the definite deci decision i think it happens now at the end of the year so um i have no idea what's happening to be honest so it's uh, yeah let's just hope i i survive okay so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this faq here in sunny 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 costa del sol spain and uh yeah i'll see you next week i guess in my regular studio with my regular reactions and my regular positivity guys again thank you so much for just being so awesome i love what you're doing i love the comments that you give and you know you're giving me all the love i appreciate it i appreciate that you appreciate that i put a lot of effort into what i'm doing and uh, i hope you recognize that i'm actually trying to do a lot just doing this on my vacation i mean i shouldn't be doing this i should actually be doing you know just be on vacation but I love doing this so much, so that's why I do it. So I hope you appreciate that. And I hope you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not, well, good for you. You probably have a life then. But guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Mm.